What's up, guys? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Welcome back to round three of the Pokeballs WC Pokeballs World Cup. And uh, we are hoping to continue our win streak today. Um, and my opponent is John of the Florida Gators, or Free Alligators, if you will. And John is the pink team right next to mine. And you can look at John's team. He has a very, well, he has a very strong draft with holes. But those holes are hard for my team to break through. So I look at his team and I see Mega Venusaur is a problem. I can kind of whittle that thing down. Cure and Black Scarf can tear through my team if he gets that going. Because Ice Beam plus just a hard physical move for Blissey. That can do some work. And then I see the Combo Wombo. Wombo Combo if you will. Of a Spec Stolteon and a Banded Azumarill. And look at my team and I don't have anything to stop that because Jolteon tears through um, my physical defensive walls bar Suicune Blissey and Azumarill can blow back I mean Suicune and Mandibuzz and Azumarill can blow back Blissey and just about everything else on my team besides Mega Metagross could take one hit from either so I have to I have to pray he doesn't bring them and I or he doesn't bring the sets that I fear so let's move on with the team builder and I'll be right back. And we are back and the Pokemon I decided to bring... What? Hold on. That was bad. The Pokemon I decided to bring first was of course Mega Metagross. Now I look at John's team and his one of the fastest Pokemon that would not... That Metagross can't outspeed that bar that would be Curum with 95 base speed. And 110 does outspeed that with Adamant Nature. So I am safe to run Adamant, Metagross with Meteor Mash, Bullet Punch for Emergency Zen Headbutt, and Thunder Punch. Now as you can see, the Fortress and the Blade wall me. So that's a problem. But moving on, we have Mandibuzz. Um, this Mandibuzz was to counter his walls such as Fortress. Um, primarily with Taunt, Defog, Roost, and Foul Play, especially Defensive. I know Jolteon, but there's not much I can do there. Um, next we have our physical wall designed to deal with Azumarill, unfortunately, and it still gets too KO by Play Rough, so I have to bob and weave around that. With Scald, Calm Mind, Rest, Sleep Talk, Standard, Croak. Um, now we got Life Orb, Thunderous, um, same reason as Mega Metagross why he's modest. T-Wave, Volt Switch, Knock Up, and Flash Cannon that maybe hit the Mamoswine on the Switch In, or the Cure. Um, and then we have Choice Scarf, Lando, Enough Speed, Do Out Speed, I believe, Cure, uh, U Scarf Cure, U-Turn, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, and Super Power, um, Choice Scarf with Rocks, I know, unfortunately I didn't get it a mop, oh well. Um, and finally, we have Modest Sludge Wave, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, HP, Fire, Gengar, who's supposed to whittle his team down. So, we're going to move on to the battle, guys. Be right back. And we're back for the battle, so... <sighs> Let's see how this one goes. Anyway, so I look at John's team, and John has everything I really rather him not bring, besides Kiram. So he doesn't bring Kyurem, but he does bring Azumarill and Jolteon. So, um, my Landorus is out versus the Mammal. I fear the Sash, so I am going to just try to break it with U-Turn. I see that Rocks aren't going to help me too much with this game, especially because he's got two Rapids banners. So, U-Turn's going to break the Sash if he had one, and he did. And it allows me to go into Suicune, which walls this thing. Um, a Free Skull is nice. However, it's not going to do anything to the Gutra and no burn because, you know. So we do go out to Manibus, which is another counter to this, but he's just going to Dragon Tail. So we're going to spin around and round and round as he's going to Dragon Tail me. Oh, no, he Thunderbolt's predicting switch. So good play on you, John. Um, I believe I'm going to go for a ru No, I'm just going to double switch. I probably should have just roosted up. Um, as he's going to Dragon Tail me, I, that was a misplay. I really should have roosted now that I see that. I don't know why. What was I doing? So I'm going to scald him again, and no burn. <laughs> Luckily, he did get the Intimidate drop, so the Dragon Tail's not going to hurt as much. Um, Gengar's going to come out a little bit, doesn't do anything, and he's just going to Thunderbolt. So this Gudra 
has become a bitch and a half to handle. So I go back into Man of Us and I take the Fire Blast. I guess he predicted Metagross to come out there. Um, so I roost up all the damage. So at least Man of Us is back to decent health. And he's just going to keep Dragon Tailing me out. So now Dragon Tail probably shouldn't kill my Lan uh, Lando. So he knows this and he's going to switch into Fortress, which would wall my Lando. So I just go for the U turn here. Um, predict the switch and I go back on the Gengar with HP fire now I really should have predicted the Azumarill to come in or the Gudra or something as I reveal it way too early I should have just clicked Shadow Ball that was my bad um, that might cost me later so he's just gonna keep dragging Dale in around and around and Metagross comes out so I'm like okay I can make this work don't miss he hits the Meteor Mash and he gets the kill so that's pretty good. Metagross got another kill. Um, as he goes in star me, I have um, I'm not gonna take that risk. So uh, he reveals to be, I believe, a kind of like a defensive version of Starmie. I don't, but with Ice Beam, of course. But since he's not really Life Orb, um, it won't do much, and I get paired. So hooray! Um, I am just going to try to roost up here, I believe, and out to the bane of my existence. So I have to go into Suicune now and take the knockoff. So he goes for the knockoff. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I can take a knockoff. Um, I don't, why didn't I stay in? Oh, no, no, no. I predicted the switch. I'm sorry, I did. Um, and I'm going to go for the U-turn here. And it does a lot to Starmie. I believe he has recovered. So I mean, okay. But still a free switch back into Mana Buzz, which Mana Buzz looks pretty s sharp in this. Uh, Jolteon can still 2 it KO me. So at this point, I was trying to go for foul play there, and I'm going to get paralyzed twice now. So luck is unfortunately not on my side, um, as he's going to go into Mammo on the foul play, and that's going to do a hell of a lot of damage. So at this point, I'm just going to as I uh, stay in, as I predict him to predict me. And a good play, I have to admit, and I do take out the Mammal Swine, so it's looking okay. Um, now, I predict the play rough, but Suicune is pretty much a dead man at this point, because play rough is going to tear a new asshole out of Suicune. So, of course, this gives me a free switch into Metagross, which gives him a free switch into Fortress, so I go into my Amanda Buzz to try to defog the hazards away. Um, I mean, Fortress can set him up, but I can always get him out so at this point I am going to try to get off the slow defog as I do and Azumarill comes back in and so at this point he can really I can go into Metagross or uh, I stack off Metagross that's fine I probably I guess I wanted to save Landorus but I could have probably just sacked it off there as now um he does decide to switch out into the fortress on my U-turn again. So, okay, I'm going to go back into Gengar. And this is the misplay of the century. It's obvious that I have HP fire. And if I um, attack the Staryu with Shadow Ball, the game would have been different. So, so I let my best check to Azumarill go down. I haven't sacked off Landorus for some reason. As now, Ice Beam's gonna rip a new asshole out of Thunderous too. And if I Shadow Ball, Thunderous would have been at full health. Gengar would have still been alive, and I would have been in a great position because at this point I don't have much for the Fortress. So all I can do is spam Meteor Mash until the cows come home. Um, so I am gonna go for Meteor Mash a couple times just hoping to get the attack boost and I get one so I mean okay okay I see you and um so okay maybe we can get another one you know uh let's see it does it does 30 percent we get another one so I'm like oh shoot um maybe we can get one more you know um because at this point okay okay we get one more oh no we don't um I needed plus four I believe but that's fine. I'm just going to go for one last one and kind of getting the cheap boost. And I do. So I am at plus three. And remember, I have bullet punch. So he's going to go into Jolteon. So I'm like, I have to bullet punch. Um, it doesn't kill. Great. But he is not Specs or Life Orb. So, okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, 
that's pretty good at this point. Um, I'm I, okay. It looks okay for me, right? No, it doesn't kill. That had a chance to kill. A very low chance to kill, but it had a chance to kill. So that's fine. I'm gonna thunder wave, right? Oh, I forgot. I didn't put prankster on. And then Landorus comes out, and I'm like, oh, I probably. I mean, I guess I. It didn't matter about the Intimidate. Um, the Prankster on Thunderous mattered. Um, okay. But that didn't really matter. I mean, he could have outhaxed, right? Because Aqua Jet's priority. But the thing that mattered 150,000% is me not going for the Shadow Ball on the Staryu. And the Staryu was able to tear enough holes in my team where Thunderous, I believe, at that health could have lived in Aqua Jet and have taken him out. So if I shadow balled the fortress, which I should have done, and I do regret that, I would have won the game. Good game to John. His team was better. Well, his team is stronger versus my team. You know what I mean? Like his team had a good matchup against mine. I tried my best. I'm not gonna say John was a bad player. He played great. That's the reason he won. If he misplayed, if he choked a couple times, I probably could have brought it back. But John was on top of his game and he knew how to win. He knew he wanted to win with the Choice Bandit Azumarill's Aqua Jet, and he did. So, unfortunately for me, I choked the game away when I had it. And, stupidly, I didn't run Thunder Wave, so that could have also been a choke. But, I'm not going to say that one really was. So, that was fun. Um, I, my next opponent is... Someone. I forgot who. I believe it's Matt? Question mark? Um, it's, yeah, it's Matt. So I do fight Matt, who has not lost yet. So that should be fun, right? Um, my confidence is a little shaken at this point. We have two wins and one loss now. I believe John's got two wins and one loss too. I'm not 100% sure, so... If you guys like this video, I'm sorry I lost, guys. You know, I believe I'm better than this. I just choked so hard. Anyway, um, after this devastating loss, <laughs> make sure you like and give me some supportive criticism. And I will see you guys in the next uh, PPWC.